Welcome to our class of biology practical in our session. Now we, we study classification of frog. Frog is the among organism you have to understand, you have to study in biology practical. This is a labeled diagram of frog. External features, external parts is also clear observed. And you are supposed to draw a neat and a large diagram which is labeled. We proceed with the classification of frog. Classification of frog, we start with a common name is the frog. Kingdom is belongs to Animalia and it belongs to phylum or data. Also belongs to class amphibia. Observable features of frog. As we have been observed in the diagram, we consider only external features. So, observable features of frog, one, it has the bony skeleton, number two, it has two pairs of legs with the five fingers per each leg, or per each leg. Number three, it has a skin with the scars. Its skin is not smooth like fish. It has a scars. Even fish, it has a scars. That is observable features of frog. Distinctive features of a frog to its class. Why it belongs to class amphibia? The reason one, it has a bony skeleton. Two, it has middle and the inner ear. That means no external ear or no pinna. Number three, it lays eggs in water and perform external fertilization or fertilize the external that the organisms which perform external fertilization is called the oviparous animals number four it has three chambered heart with two auricle and a ventricle number five it is hypoglycemic that means its temperature changes are the environmental temperature change Number six, it has soft, moist skin with the scars. If there is a frog in the toad, so the toad it has moist, soft skin, but the frog it has scars. Characteristics of frog two is kingdom and Maria. Why we place in kingdom and Maria? The reason is. It is multicellular organisms. Number two, it undergoes a tetropic mode of nutrition. Number three, it undergoes locomotion as a type of movement. Number four, it is differentiated into tissue. That means it has developed tissues. And the number five reason why it why belongs to kingdom and money is it has never system without a sponge it has never system number six it is eukaryotic organism with no cell wall that is the reasons why it belongs to kingdom animalia and that is characteristics of frog to is kingdom animalia let's proceed with the habitats of frog the frog is found in terrestrial and aquatic habitats so it is found in both in aquatic and terrestrial habitats. What are the adaptive features of frog to its habitats? Adaptive features which favor frog to live in terrestrial and aquatic habitats. One, it has long and powerful legs that allow them to jump and swim for long distance. Number two, it has webbed feet that acts as the fins to avoid to aid in swimming. Number three, it boards, its body shapes is it streamlined to allow it to propel through water more smoothly. Number four, it produces mucus that keeps the skin moist. Number five, it has a large and round eyes which enable it to see well in dim conditions, including underwater and the number six 
each eye positioned on top of the head, which allow the frog to look around the predator and play without moving its head. That is the reason to be in terrestrial and uh, aquatic habitats. What's the model feeding frog? The model feeding of frog is heterotrophic model feeding. The expression and glaciers exchange is performed through gales on that flow. Mode of reproduction is sexual reproduction by hatching eggs and perform external fertilization. Organism it has advantages. One, it is used in other specimens in biology laboratory or bulk research that we are using here now on study. It facilitated the presence of balance of nature. And the third advantage it is the source of food as a prey, or it is a prey for other organisms, like snakes. Snakes can eat frog to get the nutrients. That is classification of frog. So to understand more the lesson on this frog, that's a review on these questions. We can assume that the specimen a frog is specimen F. The questions you can meet with about the frog, the one classify or the one is identified. Specimen F by its common name. Number two, classify specimen F to class level. Number three, what are the observed features of specimen F? Number four, draw a well and a neat labeled diagram of specimen F. Number five, where specimen F can be found. Number six, what is the mode of reproduction? Number seven, what is the mode of feeding of specimen F? And the last question, what is the distinctive characteristic of specimen F to its kingdom and to its phylum codat? Kingdom and mother and king phylum codat. That is about the classification of a flow and a specimen. Now we say we end up here with the classification of the flow. Those questions you can answer by passing through our nosy there above. Thank you for learning with me. My name is Mr. Scientific Technologist, Mr. JD Magul. Thank you.